In the region where I live, macadamia harvesting season has just about started. I've never found any liquid macadamia oil soap anywhere or see anyone making it. So I decided that it was time to give it a go and see how a macadamia oil soap would behave in liquid form. So let's make some macadamia oil soap. Hello, I'm Helen from Sunbird Soap. This is attempt number one. We make a very plain and simple liquid macadamia oil soap. To my water, I just added KOH and stirred it well and just made the soap exactly how you would make any very plain and simple liquid soap. The macadamia oil that I use come from a local nut processing facility and it still has a very nutty aroma so it doesn't get uh, deodorized. Here I'm just adding the lye solution to the oil. What I do in all my liquid soap is that I just blend it in increments of a minute or two and then I just rest the batter for a while. Unlike olive oil, I found that I get to trace a little bit faster. So it didn't take too much time before I reached a trace that was thick enough so that I could start cooking it. I only used a small amount so I decided to cook this on the stove rather than in a crock pot because of the small amounts of oil that I used for this experiment. I filled the pot with some water and placed the glass bowl on top of my pot just making sure that the bottom of my glass bowl never touched the water in the pot thus creating a little double boiler. When you think that your soap is ready usually when it starts looking like Vaseline the best way to test if it is done is to do a clarity test where you just take a little bit of the soap and dissolve it in some water. If the water is murky when you um, dissolve the soap, it still needs to cook a little bit longer. This is what my soap looked like when it was cooked. Because I've never made some liquid macadamia oil soap before, I had no idea about the dilution rate. So I decided to first just do a one-to-one -one dilution where I used the exact same amount of paste to water to dissolve it. I soon realized that it was not enough water and I ended up diluting it about 2.2 times water to paste. This was all done in grams. After about 24 hours, I just scooped out the little bits of soap paste that didn't dissolve fully yet because I wanted to get on with my, the rest of my experiment. 
this soap was easy to make. It wasn't anything different from making a very simple Castile soap just using water and KOH. The only difference for me was the color. It, uh, it wasn't a lovely golden color like with uh, olive oil. But then again, that is what makes every kind of oil so unique when you use it in soap making. The viscosity of the soap was perfect with this dilution rate of one part soap base to 2.2 parts of water. I just marked this soap because I didn't know what the following soap would look like and I didn't want to get confused. Stored in an airtight container, soap paste can last for a very long time. I never add any kind of preservative to it. Nothing happens to it, it just stays fresh. In the second part of this experiment, I used some rooibos tea instead of water to make the lye with. I just added a couple of tea bags and some boiling water and let it sit so that the tea would become really very strong. I've never replaced my water with anything but a little bit of vegetable glycerin in making liquid soap. So using the rooibos tea would be a first for me. Here I'm just pre-measuring my KOH. I never add any kind of super fat when I make liquid soap. With the rooibos tea still hot, I just measured out the amount that I would need for the liquid part of the lye solution. I added some honey to this hot liquid and the honey dissolved easily in the tea. I put this in the freezer to cool down to a very low temperature as I didn't want the honey to get scorched when adding the KOH to it. Yeah, you can see that the rooibos tea with honey was quite cool, it was 5 degrees Celsius. Adding the KOH to such a cool liquid prevents a severe exothermic reaction and there's not a lot of fumes that come off. As I stirred this, the tea became darker and darker, partly due to the color change in the honey also. Gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with color 
colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in today And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of people talking And the wind blowing in the trees Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light Try to spread my wings so I can fly Oh, and the darkness starts to fade Feels like things are gonna go my way I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day Adding the honey to the lye solution made a huge difference in the time that it took for the soap paste to dissolve in the water in future, I'm definitely going to add honey to my lye, regardless of the liquid that I use to make the liquid soap from. I was very surprised by this. I will listen to the ocean, let its unsaid words be spoken, and I'll let my mind be carried by the waves. In the third part of the experiment, I changed one thing again. Here I didn't use any rebus tea as liquid, I just used water again. But here where I weigh out my KOH, I weighed out a little bit more than what I would have. The reason for this is that I added 1.2% of citric acid to this soap. I've never used citric acid in my liquid soaps before. Citric acid helps to reduce and even remove soap scum, but it also leaves soap feeling a little bit more silky when you wash your hands with it. Here I'm just dissolving my citric acid in a part of my lye water. The rest of my lye water I added as ice cubes. As you can see, this step came first, before I added the KOH. The ice cubes just also help to reduce the exothermic reaction caused by KOH, as citric acid itself can also cause some bubbling up. Citric acid is a 100% natural ingredient. When I add the KOH here to the very cold ice cube and citric acid solution. No exciting chemical explosions or reactions happened. So it was a very calm mix of lye and water. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go. Unlike the second time when I dissolved the honey in the hot rebus tea, I just added the honey to the macadamia oil here. I stirred it very well to just make sure that it was incorporated very well before I added the lye solution. Spread my wings so I can fly. Oh, and the darkness starts to fade. Feels like things are gonna go my way. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm gonna let the past be filled with smoke. And I will try to fix what has been broken. Take this weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the past stay in the cold I will listen to the ocean Let its unsaid words be spoken And I'll let my mind be carried by the waves Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light Oh, and the darkness starts to fade Feels like 
Again, I was very surprised at how quickly the paste dissolved in the water. I can highly recommend adding a bit of honey to your liquid soap. Mm. 